All right, ladies and gents. Now, I could start the game, and the game could run, and we can cast it, and sure, we'll do that. But first, just appreciate how cool that minimap looks before we start. Ooh, ah. Hey, llamas, what do you think about it? I thought they were going to make a noise. When I started, I, the llamas made a noise, and I went back, and now this is awkward. Blue, are you here? Blue is here. Anyways, ladies and gents, welcome. We've got uh, eight players here in a community game. There's the llamas. There, you could hear them. Uh, we have eight kings, and those kings do explode, as it says at the top of the screen here. So, uh, popular game mode we use for these community games. Again, eight people from the community. The goal, eventually, is to be the last man standing. Uh, so, we'll get our introductions in. We'll talk about all the pros and cons of the map, as this is mega random. And looks like there's a decent amount of water on this map. And take it from there. Uh, it, it, they've, they seem to have started with walls. Uh, it's not just palisade walls. We have... Uh, fortified walls, and yes, I realize I have the little Titans League logo there, so we'll just remove that. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, um, you know, a little bit of protection here to start it all off. Um, in the gray, we have Red Shadow. Red Shadow playing as the Tatars. Not bad when you have extra food on uh, all these little sheep or llamas or whatever. That's nice. There's also some elevation, which could help the Tatars. Uh, in the red, we have Red Clifford. Glad he chose that color. Uh, in the orange, we have T. Sneller. I should probably say the Civs. Uh, going back, we have Red Clifford playing as the Sicilians, and now we've got T. Sneller playing as the Koreans. Um, in the green, we have Lorhe playing as the Gurjaras. In the uh, tur uh, purple, sorry, or magenta, we have the Goths for Frogo. The teal, we've got Dark Blade playing as the Bulgarians. In the blue, we've got 404 Strat not found who, who said already, like, hey... I'm not going to chat much. Don't hate me playing as the Vietnamese. And then last but not least, we've got KP Boy. And KP Boy is playing as the Magyars. Now, there is one player in this game that stands out a little bit more to me than others. Because, you know, I've been doing this for a while. And that would probably be Lorhe. Um, oh, ouch. Red Shadow. That, that was painful. You know, I think Lorhe even killed me in the past in the community game. And I have tried to block that out of my memory. But it just just came back so you know lore Hayes, as far as i know i don't want to boost the ego too much here but i think is the most talented player in this particular game and and we'll we'll know usually just by paying attention to the worker count and i'll have that worker count up here for all the players here so far it looks like we've got like a pretty solid top three going on with a couple of the other players lagging behind um Oh, what's interesting about this generation, guys, is you actually start with a castle. So that means civilizations that have uh, good unique units, particularly the, the ranged unique units, yes. they're going to be dangerous here. So uh, I feel like a civilization like Vietnamese is actually one of my favorites in this game now. Uh, Vietnamese have the Rats and Archer, and that's a really good unit in the long term. So anyways, lots of chatter here. Uh, people are talking about what to do. Uh, want to be friends? Red, that's to you, by the way. Red says, yeah, we're really close. Let's be Bet's Buds. Aragne is my gafak. Oh, <laughs> I was reading the word here, okay? Not swearing. Color. Sweet. Red is my favorite color. Man, you guys, these typos, they're really fun. Uh, Lol Green, your walls are in my base, says Orange. And uh, yes, is weird. Okay, great. Great conversation. That is true, actually. That's interesting. Like, you know, they did go for the normal size here. I think they went for an eight-player size. Oh, God, another villager died somewhere. <laughs> I just heard the screaming from the poor lady. Um, I think they did do size eight here. But, uh, you know, sometimes a mega random generation, especially when they spawn water, it forces the players closer together. And Dark Blades is not hearing T90's voice is making this difficult. Hmm. Oh, is that... Is Darkblade implying that every time he plays the game that I'm up on the other screen or in the background? You know, I've heard people say that they listen to me to fall asleep. I've heard people say that they listen to me while they do the dishes. I've heard people say, you know, that they use me as background noise or whatever at work or, or uh, tons of different examples. However, the thing that actually surprises me is how many people will actively play a game and then listen to a video. I, that surprises me because of the whole game sound thing. But then again, when the way I record, the game sounds are quieter 
than my voice. And it could also be that maybe people are playing other games. I don't really know. Someone now says, I watch when I poop sometimes, dot, dot, dot. Listen, you didn't need... Did we really need to know that? Honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Because I will say this, now that we brought it up, I, I'll watch some content from time to time, you know, while I'm doing my business, but not, not Age of Empires. Let's just put it that way. And thank you for letting me know that you're... You know, I'm on your mind in those moments. So... You know, nice little compliments here from uh, you know, some of the players here. Uh, T. Snow are shaky. And I did notice that Red is trying to branch out now and be friends with Gray. So Red already said, hey, Orange, you're my favorite color. I want to be buddies with you. But also is now going to the other person on his border. And this is just smart Diplo play, isn't it? You want to have as many allies as possible. But preferably, you want to have allies that are close by. Having an ally on the other side of the map is not normally as useful. All right, we've got some fishing too. Uh, this is another thing I've talked about for a long time, but it's a good sign, um, or it's a good thing to look for to see how skilled a player is. Adding those that fishing eco is always so helpful. And Frogo says, how many boars you peeps yes. got? So, okay. Yes. Yes. They're both saying one. Yes. Got it. Be interested to see if maybe we see the Chakram Thrower from Lorhe. And Lorhe hasn't been super chatty this game, but obviously they're going for the fast castle. And honestly, this is going to be an aggressive game, guys. Like some games, they go on for a very long time, but I feel like games where you can't lock down the corners and secure trade, typically aggression wins out. I eat pig, and now I know pigs, says Frogo. That reminds me of the old... The good old I know pig meme, you know? <laughs> uh, any upcoming team game tournaments that you're going to cast, T90? 2022 was kind of dry in team game tournaments. Well, Nations Cup is coming. Uh, and I don't know the full schedule for that event, uh, which is, makes it tricky as far as confirming if I'm going to cast. I think they announced the event. And it's going to be like, some of it might be like in late february but majority of it's going to be late march um so it, it is announced and you know teams are signing up so you got a lot of nations signing up it's 4v4 uh, but again i i do not know how much of it i'm going to cast i mean like any event i'm probably going to end up doing like let, let's say like the quarterfinals onwards i would love to cast some early stuff too so that would be the best answer there and it's really exciting Hey, we're close to each other. Blue hasn't responded to me. If you want to stay allies, that'd be great. You have water north if you, of you if you didn't see this Darkblade. Okay, so Darkblade trying to be helpful here. And also kind of saying like, hey, Blue didn't talk to me. But, I mean, to f be fair to Blue, Blue did say at the start, I suck with the chat. So maybe people won't be as angry with Blue if Blue isn't responding. Hmm. Just realized that players could delete their walls to get into those overlapping bases. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, if Orange were to delete these walls, Orange could run right in. Or I guess run in this way. Obviously, it, you know, you want to have some army, probably. You don't want to alert people. But okay, so Lorhe is going to be the first to Castle Age. We still have Dark Blade in Dark Age, so there's a difference in these uptimes here. But it seems like we've got, like, a decent mix... Lorhe the fastest. I don't even know where you're going to drop town centers if you want to boom here. Um, right behind him, though, is going to be Red Clifford. We should be careful of green. He has highest elo, says Red Clifford. Now, yeah, you, they probably would have looked at the elo in the lobby. And T. Sneller, remember, was saying there were a lot of nerves here. So I think T. Sneller is like, oh, man, now I'm next to the highest elo guy. Oh. Not sure I like that. Red Clifford, OG best dog of all time, even better than Old Yeller. I never really thought of, you know, making that type of a statement, like rank best dogs ever. I don't know, man. Is Red Clifford really the best dog ever? That's a pretty bold statement. And you can't say your own pets, okay? We're talking about, like, you know, dogs you would have found through some type of movie or show. Hey, Red, are you buddy with Gray? Just thinking of trade as there's not masses of gold. Well, you know, it is interesting, Orange. There's actually masses of gold over here, but Green is going to take it. 
the players can expand to get more gold. I think it might actually be worth using trade cogs to trade on this map too instead of trade carts. Him and Scooby are top two. Ooh, Scooby's got to be up there. Airbud? Oh, Airbud. You know, guys, I've never made a tier list video on anything related to Age of Empires 2. Tier list videos do very well. People seem to really like to watch them. I think instead of doing an Age of Empires 2 related one, I think instead, maybe we'll just go with like, you know, a, a dog tier list video. See how that would do. Blue from Blue's Clues? I actually thought of Blue's Clues. I'm a little embarrassed at that, but I did think of that. What? <laughs> that is a that is a town center with a view here, T. Sneller. <laughs> uh, I guess, in all fairness, there's not a lot of flat ground. But, I mean, would have maybe preferred the TC here? Okay. And town centers are going up. There's no real fight fighting talk right now. Let's take a look at the military tab. The military tab shows one max. Oh, two max for green now. What did green make? Is that, oh, it's just a monk. Okay. See, I'm trying. I'm still getting used to this new casting program. Um, like this thing that we formulated with Capture Age. And I find that the best way to not miss any snipes is to just toggle over to military every now and then. Hmm. The dog from I Am Legends. You know, lots of different responses here. Goofy? Ooh, yeah, Goofy's. Goofy's up there for sure. Slinky from Toy Story? Oh my god. Okay, so first off, KP Boy's building a TC right smack in the middle of the map, which is very appealing to me. But on that note, I actually kind of want to watch through all of the Toy Stories, because I don't think I ever saw the fourth one. I'm not even sure if I saw the third one, to be honest. I definitely saw Toy Story 1 and 2, but it's been so long since I've seen those movies. I think it'd be a good watch. And you didn't just remind me of it. I brought this up a couple weeks ago to my fiance. I was like, hey, I kind of want to watch Toy Story right now. <laughs> mm, villager getting attacked. Uh, this is like me when I go outside. I'm just as ripped. Very realistic. My hammer is a little smaller, though. That, that's, that's a pretty big hammer. But all right. And T-Sneller's going to add some more fishing ships, I suppose. The Koreans could actually be uh, pretty solid on water. But, you know, again, like, is that something you want to do? It would be interesting if maybe you want you wanted to go full Navy, range people from the shoreline. But I just don't think it's enough range. Yeah, I mean, I'm not particularly excited to see the fourth Toy Story because... I know how it goes. Like, the, the more they add on, the worse they tend to get. But the, the OGs, I think I, I might end up watching at some point. Man, need to remember to breathe IRL 11. Yes, breathing is very important, guys. I actually understand it. I, uh, I have an issue with holding my breath a lot when I play Age of Empires 2. I don't know, um... You know, it, it's it's something that's really hard for me to be conscious of when I'm playing. And I know it's it's probably not very good. <laughs> My whole body's also super super tense, too. Like, I, I... We're all getting old, right? But, like, these days, if I play a long session, I'm just like, Oh, my body hurts, you know? I just gotta, like, you know, sit back, keep my back straight. My posture's just horrible when I play the game. 87 eco and then 79 eco. So it's still Lorhe at the top, then Red Clifford right behind. 58 is third place right now, so KP boy, he's coming in third. We haven't had a lot of chatter here, just, I mean, a lot of chatter from me, obviously, but no real signs that we're going to see anything too crazy. Blue does have some rats and archers, and again, I think rats and archers shape up very nicely here. I wonder how dominant the goth player is going to be in this game, right? Goths have the ability in a full boom game. To spam those Huskarls against archers and spam the other forms of infantry against everything else. Also, I'm going to turn off the um, the market events here. I don't think we need that here for community games. Someone said, how about the best cats? And then someone responded and said, there are no best cats. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Cat hater. I like cats. I'm not like, you know, anti-cat or anti-dog. I like both. 
Now I'm curious. It's funny, as you said that, though, I heard my cat in the hallway meow. Martin says, hey, just a nudge to grab Caravan at Market Smiley Face. True. I think Red already has it, though. They seem to be moving the same speed here, so we do have Trade Cogs on the move. Hmm, all right. Imp on the way now for Dark Blade. Not a bad imp timing here. I see some stables here, so Dark Blade made me thinking of some stable units. But again, no scheming happening. I think what's going to start this game off, and this happens many times, is just one player is kind of a bully. One player sees an opportunity for a snipe. And then if that happens, then everyone says, hey, we need to gang up on that guy. <laughs> My cat is protesting? Probably. Well, like I told you guys earlier in the stream, I had a delivery today. And so I, I kind of like locked them in the one room because I don't trust them not to like run in and out of the door. And I also didn't trust it. I, I don't know the delivery people, right? So anyways, um, so yeah, and, and they, they heard the, the delivery guys were like constructing the furniture and they heard, you know, different people in the house and they heard noises. So they were like all kind of spooked, I think. Uh, our bigger cat, he uh, he's a he's a big boy, uh, and you think he would be tough, but no, he's just a, a giant softy. He's scared of everything, man. So again, the big talking point here is green is dangerous. This is not the first time they've had this conversation. Green is dangerous from red, and then Arts goes, "Yeah, I'm scared. His base overlaps with mine." I'll prepare to help you, Orange, says Red. Okay, so th the one defined team that I see here is Red Shadow, Red Clifford, and then T. Sneller. And so these three seem to be discussing things. It does seem to be going through Red Clifford, which is a nice spot to be in. If you're number two, you get a couple people on your side, maybe you could work together to topple the number one guy. Hmm. I don't want to tell you... Listen, I told viewers that i had a couch delivery months ago and then people started being weird and being like yo what type of couch send the couch pics and it wasn't that big a deal but then i said i'm not sending pics of my couch and then chat naturally was like oh streamer streamer guy he doesn't want you know to send couch pics so let's ask for couch pics and be really weird all the time so i'm not gonna tell you what type of furniture it was all right that's between me and the furniture store. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I literally, I'm not even kidding. I literally told Lorena last night. I was like, I bet you if I were to say something, I don't know if this says good or bad things about chat. I was like, I bet you any money. If I were to mention that I get delivery furniture, people are going to start up on this whole thing again. And here we are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a cat couch. That's true. Holy castles over here. And KP boy. There's a lot of crampedness about this base. It's going to be a lot of bases destroyed here when the kings finally explode. Okay. We got some war wagons. You can see war wagons being very good at sniping kings. We've got Shravamsha riders here. And we've got some light cav for Lorhe. Not the craziest army ever, but Elite Shravamsh is coming in. And I think the raid potential is certainly going to be there, too. If you just want to beat someone in a standard fashion, going for these units is awesome because they're really speedy and pretty cheap. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little confused because of the ally table. Is this 2v2v2 or 4v4? Yeah, this is a 4v4. So the way this ally table works is if the color is filled, like all the dots except one for T-Sneller, if the color is filled, that means the player you see here on the left is allied with that color. So in this case, T-Sneller, that circle there, means that Teal has allied orange, but T-Sneller has not accepted it. Wait, wait, wait. No, I think I have it wrong. I think T-Sneller has allied Teal, but Teal didn't accept it. Oh, look at this. 
Uh, I'm massing war wagons. We'll hit him as soon as I'm able. Gray says, I don't know if this is the time. I don't have any military. And Frogo says, to pretty much everybody except Green, he's on my butt, so definitely get some defenses up. So they notice Green is making stuff. Now, I think, realistically, if you're top score, you should always be a chatterbox, man. You should be saying, like, hey, do you want to work together? Hey, let's do this. You don't want to just sit here and give them time to scheme. Or maybe that's just your style. Blue's like, hey, I can't help you. My score's really low. Don't expect much. And Gray says, if he dares attacking the Holy Tower, I'll kill him. And then Teal says, yo, red and yellow are sealing your gold. I'll help you if you need it. Dang. Interesting. Red is... Yeah, I mean, that, that, could, that could anger purple. So maybe red and yellow are not going to be too loved by purple teal and blue over here. I just finished the Peaceless Not an Option video. Tudpool is so frust frustration. Now, Tudpool is great in that game. I think a lot of people were waiting, hoping Tudpool would win. Tudpool is a really entertaining player. So yeah, this is a diplomacy free-for-all. They have the ability to ally enemy one at any time. Just like all of our games. It seems like everyone has been fairly safe with their king in a castle. They haven't gone out into the open seas. I like this from blue. The king is actually in a tower. Uh, how many times have we seen players accidentally ungarrison their king from their castle when they go to fight? Or send their king into open battle? Hmm... It's still a pretty big army, and we've got two trebuchets in there for Lorhe. Who, again, has been very, very quiet. Let's look at these stockpiles, guys. Yeah, Red Clifford actually has the most. It uh, probably has to do with the trade, right? Not seeing any trade from Green. I think Red Clifford's in a really good position, because Green will most likely be the initial focus. And Red can just, you know, be friends with all these people and then bank up resources. Hey, so I don't know if this is maybe the best time or best way to do it, but since I was too busy to be able to make a video about this, I, I figured I'll tell you guys this, and this is pretty exciting news. Um, this is well beyond the point when I was originally told I could say something about it, so I'm not actually 100% on if this is possible right now or if this functionality is coming soon, but uh, I worked with the Capture Age team for months and months and months to get what we have here now as I'm sure you guys have heard me say. Um, and, you know, funded the whole project for those five or six months or whatever to make it happen due to your support as viewers and interest and all that stuff. Uh, otherwise, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do that. And so, uh, anyways, I decided, and Capture Age decided as well, um, even though, you know, I, I put the funding in and worked with them for me to have this, it's community game format. It, it's about the community. And I know you guys might want to spectate these games. You guys might want to, you know, load up, you know, your old PC and OBS and, you know, record some casting or whatever, you know, like I did back in the day too. So anyways, everything that you see here will be available for the entire community for free within Capture Age. Uh, I, again, I, 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 you could check now. By spectating this i do not know if it's going if it is right now or in the near future but all this stuff merry christmas uh is available if you guys wish to you know spectate games like this so um hopefully that's pretty cool i don't know how many people that apply to but uh that's going to be the case maybe you don't quote me on the for free part they did say that but if it hasn't been announced yet uh, maybe i shouldn't have said anything but anyways um my plan was to make a video about it around christmas and then things got busy, and now January's been insane with Titans League, and I just haven't had a chance to do it. So I'll probably make a video about it at some point, but I figured, you know, as we're waiting for people to kill each other, uh, that I would mention it. And it, it the functionality obviously applies to things other than Regicide, too. Like, I think normal Capture Rage doesn't even show Wonder Timers, which is kind of awkward. Um, so... Yeah, I don't have many more details beyond that. Like, I don't know how they're going to roll out that functionality precisely, but I do know that that's going to be happening, so. Hmm. There has been more chatter. Red and yellow keep encrouching on our side, taking our gold. 
I'm all for backing you both up, Perp and Blue, if you want to stop them. Dark Blade is... You know what he reminds me of? Did you guys ever play, like, a 4v4 Black Forest... Like, 4v4 noob Black Forest game? And then somebody sends a couple vills over and starts taking your gold? Or you do it to them, and there's, like, the signal, and it's like... Oh, God, Lorhe is... Oh, Lorhe is being attacked! But anyways, it's like, hey, that's my gold. And then, like, people get really annoyed with each other and with their own team. I have a lot of, like, funny memories of that. Anyways, that's kind of what that's reminding me of. But here, like, you have an opportunity to turn on your current teammates for doing things like that. He didn't say encroaching. He said encroaching. There was an OU. That's why I said it that way. And, you know, for Lorhe, remember, Lorhe had this big target on his back because he's the higher ELO player. And I I'm not sure truly what he expected. You know, maybe just put all of his focus in the whole buildup. But I don't think Lorhe has much of a chance with all of his army. I mean, these guys are great players. You've got Halberdier, and you've got Elite Warwagon. And then you've got Sicilian Cavalier, which are very tanky. And now you have Grey turning as well. And again, like, I don't think Red necessarily has anyone that's upset. Or I don't think Lorhe, sorry, has anyone that's upset about this. Like, no one's going to be like, I shall save you. At least, not from what I'm seeing here. Uh... Right over here, going to take out the green's trebuchets, and green could be finished from the game pretty quickly. Now, again, everyone's really close together. And the funny thing is, is like if green gets annoyed by this, he could just send his king into their base. Green obviously putting up a massive fight right now. But as you guys know, this goes from 0 to 100 really quick in these games. And with exploding kings, it's all very, very different. You gotta kill that king quickly, I think. And Lorhe, if he were to get the king here, it would kill orange, and it would then potentially kill red immediately afterwards. But Lorhe might not want to go out first, right? Like, might have a little bit more fight in him than that, which is completely understandable. But eventually should realize the direction this is going. Looks like we're going to have galleons, and Lorhe's going to maybe try and stay on the sea for a while. Hope people forget about him. That's actually an interesting tactic, because everyone's investing into land. Alright, so the higher ELO player falling pretty quickly here. A good team effort here from Red Clifford, Red Shadow, and then T. Sneller. Who, you know, from the looks of it, aren't really the type of players that would backstab each other either. Though, that can always change. It is a community game after all. <laughs> a Greens King is now in the transport ship. And it's possible Red saw this in Research Treason. And says King is in the back. But yeah, you're not going to get that King. Look at this play from Lorhe. This reminds me of the uh, the first Explosive Hopper game. Do you guys remember that on Oasis? I think that was Hopper. Of all the games, like the crazy games that Hopper's had over the years, I actually think maybe his first one is the most memorable for me. Not from the Diplo side, but just from the comeback perspective. Like, he had... He was hiding in the middle of Oasis with, like, five transports and a navy. He had nowhere to go and everyone hated him, but they couldn't kill him. And then, out of nowhere, he ended up coming back later on. So, I mean, that, that seems to be Lorhe's strat. But the first one was ridiculous. It, it wasn't as... It wasn't the same as the later uh, Sir Explosive Hopper games. Obviously, Explosive Hoppers had some great wins with crazy diplomacy moves. But just, like, the uniqueness of that game was wild. So, Green is going to lose the main base. Yes, going to lose the relics, going to lose a lot of villagers. But you can't kill Green right now unless you're going to commit, like, 100 population to water. And it looks like Red's actually going to try something. Uh, we have our goth player. I know Supplies is a big fan of that. Mass up there, there with the barracks. Ooh! Do you guys see this? I wonder who this was intended for. We have petards in one, and we have cav archers in the other one. You guys know how much I love that. And Frogo says, Us sub 10,000 are going to stick together to the end, yeah? I, meant, I think that was supposed to be sub-1,000 E-lowers. 10,000. I'm pretty sure they're all sub-10,000. <laughs> Unless Lorhe got really good. 
I don't know about putting that king on land here, green. I, I would maybe keep that on water. I think that's the safest spot right now. And Darkblade says that's the plan. And everyone else on the other side that were originally attacking green, they're going to go water now. So they really want to kill him. Hmm. I wonder if anyone's ever, like, I wonder if these guys are going to get upset with red for taking all the gold. Yeah, look, look, look. Blue said red, seriously? And then Red Clifford says sorry and is leaving. But that's not the first time that they commented about Red stealing some gold. So Green might be the target right now. But if Green is killed or if Green is forgotten about, which would be pretty easy now. They might not like that. And Red Clifford, this is actually really smart. He sends gold over to Blue. And Blue says thanks. And Red says nothing but fair. Okay, so... That is Red realizing that uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. He caught me, so let's just pay it to him. Anyways, as I said before, it's going to be really tough when you have so much land population to free up population space to be able to go water, at least with good economy. So I don't see that really being doable right now. Like, Red is 149 eco. He can't have, like, 50, 60 units on land and 50, 60 units on water. And have 150 eco. He doesn't have the population space. And it's it's always really awkward to have to get tons on water. Because then someone could kill you because you don't have anything on land. It's just not a great feeling. Yellow, what are your plans? Says Red Shadow. Now this is gray speaking across. Actually, no. There, he's right next to yellow. I'm stupid. Wait a second. Where? Pause. Yellow had transport ships. And I have a history of missing some of these moments. I don't want to miss it again. Huh? Okay. Yellow just said, don't know yet. Hmm. <laughs> now this, they could be coming home, right? Because these transport ships are pretty far away from Yellow's main base. That might have actually been part of the strategy. Or maybe Yellow was on his way to go kill Green or something and then... Things change there. Again, green is in a transport ship there. Apparently, war wagons are good against galleons, by the way. And green... He's still got a, such a massive ball of galleons over here. I say we kick red and yellow out of our space. They are still dealing with green. And red says no. But I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Gray disconnected. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gray disconnected. Thanks, DE. So, Gray DC'd. And, guys, as sad as that is, you know what that means? There is a bomb here. <laughs> we have seen instances before where people have chosen a disconnected player, deleted their uh, castle, which you can do with your allies, and then, like, done some funky stuff where they change them to enemies then and attack the king with a spearman and like kind of move it towards somebody we've seen a couple of crazy instances in the past obviously sad times for gray and we now have the goth player turn on lorhe surprise surprise again this is not going to kill green green is already kind of dead already on land uh, but we'll clear out a lot of space and lorhe is even going to try and save villager Yeah, neutral. So, yeah, you, you put it on neutral, right? You put gray on neutral. Uh, you delete the castle, which you can do, I guess, before you put them on neutral. So, you still have to be allied. All allied units and buildings can be deleted, including the king. But, yeah, so delete the castle, turn him to neutral, get one spearman and one monk. And you just keep poking that king and it always react. He's like, ow, you know, and he'll run away a couple tiles. And you could force it into someone else's base. But there's so many different things happening right now. And I think Yellow was planning as we have Dark Blade turning on KP Boy and Red Clifford. What in the world? Red says what? And I think this is Dark Blade just being really annoyed that people are taking their resources. I think that's all this is. And, you know, that'll probably dawn on Yellow and Red later. But I'm not sure if that was necessarily the wisest play for Teal right now. But this is all very good for the Lorhe comeback attempt because Red is now going to have somebody else to think about. 
you know, there just doesn't seem to be a lot of map for green. So that's my concern. Is like, if you make it back to land, what eco are you really going to have when there's no space? So rebooming is kind of out of the question. Yeah, you cannot convert a king. That'd be interesting if you could do that. And, okay, so now Yellow's like, oh, all right, that guy turned on me? Hmm, I wonder where we're going to go next. I imagine Yellow's transports are probably heading over to this guy's base. Could, it wouldn't be the sneakiest thing anymore because you're not allied with the guy. So you can't see what he's doing, but you can still see some of it because you're allied with Purple who's trading through his base. And now Red is here. And remember, Dark Blade kind of started this battle. But, you know, even if he goes down, I feel like Dark Blade's at least got, you know, his pride, right? He's like, I don't care that I died. You took my resources. I'm not going to be teamed with a thief. Transport still sneaking around over here. We haven't seen a lot from Blue either, by the way. Blue's got 43 rats and archers out of the castles, even more in the castles. That might be like 80 rats and archers, actually. There's 90 military there for Blue. My phone just made a noise I've never heard before. Okay, Cav Archers and Batards are here. You gotta be sneaky, Yellow. Don't attack things. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a weird notification. You know how you can react to messages with, like, a laugh or, uh, you know, there, there's various different things to react with? That's what somebody had done to a message, and I didn't have my phone on silent, and I, I wasn't used to that notification. All right, Lorhe calls the GG, and apparently I missed that transport going down. Hold on, we, we gotta go back. We will go back in a second. The Batards are on the way for yellow. This is gonna be an epic snipe. Gentile chose this life, just turned on these two to clear up those villagers, and the king goes down. So there will be an explosion. This will be our first explosion of the game, and it will clear out Dark Blade's base. It didn't take very long for yellow to make this happen. Red would have probably had some success there, too. Though, to be fair, Purple was maybe there to help. And Darkblade not too pleased with the situation, but Darkblade, I think if you look back at this one... Oh, has the Cab Archers even survived? You've got to be asking yourself, well, what did I expect to happen there? At, at the very least, I think if you make that turn, you probably need to have other people backing you up. But speaking of, you know, backing up, let's go back to when Lorhe died. And that was here. So the fire ships from Red Clifford found Lorhe. Lorhe did have navy, but didn't have the navy nearby those transport ships. And that capture agent obviously said it was mysterious circumstances. We continue now. Um, I'll fast forward a little bit so we can see this explosion again. So nice job from, from Red, Red Clifford this game. And nice job there from KP Boy. So... T. Sneller and Red Clifford are still going to be best buds here, I think. And those are the two to beat right now. They're both top scorer. There's a whole lot less, uh, you know, buildings here. So maybe people can build some production buildings. But I'm just wondering, what is Blue's plan? And Red says, our next plan is Blue. He has attacked me. Now, I didn't see that. I wonder if that actually happened. Also, we have Gray being attacked now. Wait, is it Gray being attacked? No, Yellow is being attacked, excuse me, by the Goth player. Okay, so Purple's upset because Purple realizes it was Yellow that just killed his buddy. Hmm. Did Blue kill anything? Is that true? Blue didn't kill anything, so Red Clifford's either lying or mistaken. And T. Sneller saying, have you researched Hauberk? That is the Sicilian upgrade. And that was in last I checked for red. So that's going to be really helpful. So poor Blue over here, I mean, hasn't killed anybody. But is going to be targeted. And T. Sneller is probably like, all right, boss. All right, buddy. I trust you and not really ask any questions. But again, even though Blue said at the start, hey, uh, I suck at chat. Don't hate me. I feel like that only goes so far. Because 404 strat not found. You're not doing anything right now. I mean, you are. You know, you made a couple of elephants. You got them in queue. You may be getting upgrades. But I mean, there's no massive activity. And even if you're a little slower, which is completely fine. 
you can't just say at the start, hey guys, I suck at Diplo, and then expect to, you know, be loved and appreciated by everybody. You've got to do something of value. I think yellow and blue being friends right now would be a really valuable alliance. Like, Magyars are no joke. Vietnamese are no joke. That combination is deadly. Speaking of a deadly combination, we've got purple running through. Now, purple's enemies with red, but not enemies with orange. And, oh, T. Sneller! These Huskarls are going to melt this castle, man. And, wait, yellow has turned gray to neutral. That has me excited. I'll pay attention to that. And, wait a second. Red says, need help here. And orange says, on my way. Red says, nice. And red sees this. Red sees this. It looks like these Huskarls, though, are trying to go through orange's base to get into red's base. And red's sending the Cavalier back in a reaction to this. Wait a second. Oh, my God. Okay, so the castle... What? Wait a second. 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 We're rewinding. So... Yellow is trying to do what I wanted to see. You could see this king took some damage. Okay, so I want to show this full thing here because it's so cool. I'm so glad that Yellow is experienced enough for this. Okay, so obviously I deleted the castle. Found the king. And when you attack it, when you damage it, it moves. So I think what's happening here is I think Yellow is realizing I don't want to kill this thing yet. And there should be a monk coming from somewhere. Like, he's going to find that monk, maybe. Hey, you do not want to kill that king, but if he could push it into Red's base and then kill it, that would be epic. And anyways, here are the Huskarls. This is where we're at. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Again, you would need to ally, and then you can heal. I forget if, if you heal things on neutral by default. But this is very doable for yellow. It's not like blue is going to end up attacking. Blue just seems to be sitting back. I mean, Blue's name is accurate. 404 Strat not found. Blue's just vibing right now. And okay, it was hit again. <laughs> uh, is there a monk coming? The monk was standing there, so there's got to be a monk walking over here, right? I'm going to assume there's a monk on the way. A Huskarls here will end up taking out Red's castle, assuming Purple continues to attack the castle. Purple, you might as well. And this comes as no surprise to anyone. T. Sneller is now defending Red because these guys are best friends. Feels like kind of a wasted trip there if you don't take out that castle. And now you've got Orange against you too. So it, it would have probably been more effective to take out Orange. However, and there's Yellow's Monk. Uh, goths are Goths. And Goth spam is really tough to deal with for any civilization at this stage of the game. All right, so I'm trying to figure out. I mean, the Monk... Could not walk any slower here. Like, you gotta be fast with this, right? Oh, man. Get fervor or something. <laughs> um, Let's see. The suspense is real. By the way, when Red is talking, all those messages are going to Yellow as well. Even though he's not really incorporating Yellow into any of those plans. And Red doesn't seem to be talking about killing anyone else and oh yeah there we go guys he's healing up the king let's go yellow how are you doing and t sneller says cool i'm still allied with blue at the moment so I might be able to sneak in with my super subtle army yeah super subtle <laughs> yellow says i'm okay oh man yellow's heart is be probably beating so fast man can you imagine he says i'm okay Red doesn't really seem suspicious. But they might ask Yellow to help out. So you better do this quick. And my next question is, can you somehow get this king into Red's base? Like maybe through this gate? It all depends on the pathing, right? Oh, this is... Gray, I know you're upset that you dropped out of this game. Okay, delete the stable here, Yellow. You want to delete the stable. Mm, you'd have to ally again, then delete. It was a lot of alliance changing that's needed here. And then you got to make sure you're not being killed, because that would be pretty embarrassing. You know where his king is? No, research trees, and oh, never mind. Wait, let me check. Okay, so they're checking to see where Blue's king is. Maybe 
maybe purple's king and yeah treason was just rung in here purple clearly heard it and then moved the castle where the king was okay stable got deleted king got hit again oh please no stupid king does it not path through gates no no where are you going no 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 oh oh please run away <laughs> close call guys close call <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that had me sweating, man. <laughs> this king's like, yo, heal me up. There we go. <laughs> this king looks like he's demanding something from the manager. He's like, you told me it would be here at noon. It's currently 1215. What are you talking about? You know, this king looks like he, he feels like he deserves something. <laughs> Meanwhile, I mean, we've got... Orange and red on the warpath to go against purple. Let's hope purple can hold for a while. I mean, this is going to take forever. There we go. Trying again. I like this. Again, I think you have to delete a hole. I don't know if the king will actually go through a gate. It looks like red as well is here. So, oh, actually, I think he might have. Oh, of course, he had to get all of his upgrades for his cab archers too, right? Okay, so he's standing in that gate. This is still pretty close to Red's base. So even if it goes off now, it does damage. And again, I, I mean, can Purple hold on his own here? I'm going to look at the stockpiles really quick. Yeah, Purple can for a long time. As long as Purple could just spam Halbs, Purple could be okay. Okay, King is being healed again. <laughs> Can you just make a regular archer? Uh, like, you want a unit that doesn't do a lot of damage, because the king doesn't move based on how much damage it's taken. But I guess you already have a cav archer, so. What's blue doing? I have no clue. Blue, well, blue's actually moving around a little bit. That th This is almost impossible to stop, by the way. If these had full upgrades, good luck, everybody. <laughs> okay, come on, give it a little bump. No, 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 don't get to that side of it. No, that's going to go this way. Ah, uh, he realized. Okay, he's learning. He's learning. He's learning. Good. Get to this side and just give a little push. Nice. Good. Nope. Try again. You're good. He doesn't want to kill it. There you go. Nice. Yes. Yes. You're almost there. One more hit. And it's into Red's base. No, you dumb king. Delete more walls. Delete the gate. Oh, it's Red's gate. Oh, <gasps> it's in Red's base. He's doing it. He's doing it, guys. It's in Red's base. By the way, way to go purple for not dying. Purple's a beast. Go, Goths, go. Okay, don't you know? No! He killed it. All right, this still might work. The hill bonus, man. I think he was trying to still push it in, or maybe he felt like it was good enough. Let's see if Red realizes what's happening now. There's not going to be a defeated noise because Gray's already dropped from the game. Oh, no. Oh, that's so disappointing. But hey, it still wrecks Red. And Red just said, Blue, what are you going to do with those chonkers talking about the elephants? And Blue said, move slowly. So, hey, I mean, I th still think we have to congratulate Gray for the attempt. I, I imagine, uh, or Yellow for the attempt, excuse me. I imagine Yellow wasn't actually trying to kill it with that hit, but just didn't judge it right because of the hill bonus. Red I, has yet to make a comment about this, by the way. <laughs> Someone bombed me. Yeah, but how? Nobody else died. Think about that. And Orange says, oh no, you survived? Well, yeah, he's talking to you, Orange. I mean, it's not like he's speaking to you from heaven right now. But yeah, he survived. It's time to get that farming eco back on track. Yes. Yeah, yellow's probably like crap, man. <laughs> Yellow's probably like, oh, we better kill him fast before they figure it out. It doesn't really seem like they want to get to the bottom of who did that or how that happened. It's just, I got bombed and let's move on with life. Okay. Um, anything I can do to help you rebuild? And red just says time. Now let's see, what is blue going to do here? Again, blue isn't killed a single unit this game. And it's just standing here in the midst of battle like spectators, you know? 
I don't know about that. People are going to want you to fight for their side. I, I might join the goths right now, honestly. Red's just been bombed. Red is rebooming nicely, it looks like. Goths are pretty good against Koreans, war wagons. And against Sicilians, honestly. And also, Blue, even though there hasn't been very chatty, was probably friends with Darkblade. And Red says, I know what happened. Oh. Yellow herded Gray's King. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. All right. All right. And Yellow, I really like T. Sneller. Just very wholesome and to the point. Says, oh, that's so smart. Even though, you know, they just tried to kill your buddy. Acknowledges how smart that is. Was there any evidence remaining here of like, you know, a monk or a cab archer? There isn't, but honestly, it's a fair guess. Like, the only person I would assume it would be would be Yellow, because Yellow's right next to all this. And Yellow hasn't been doing anything. I mean, Blue also... Does Blue look like a player who, who had a master strategy to push the king into Red's base? Or does Blue look like a player who's just chilling? <laughs> I, I, I don't mean any disrespect with that comment, but... You know, blue just seems to be hanging out, having a good time, and yellow, maybe a little bit more of a schemester over here. No time like the present, blue. And this is Krogo saying, hey, uh, how about you, you know, fight for me? Again, I think it'd be really hard for, re for the Koreans and the Sicilians to stop this. Vietnamese elephants are so insane. 420 HP. And then rats and archers, even though they're missing some upgrades, are even stronger. Blue says, was hoping to get yellow off his duff. Off his duff? What's a duff? Didn't want to commit in and have him use his massive army to pick me off. Dot, 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 dot. All right, that's fair. I think it's fine to have this type of conversation if you're blue. But how about you don't sit here as thousands of bodies are being sacrificed for the cause of the war and just watch, you know? Frogo says your units are just standing there getting slaughtered by orange. Actually, Frogo, your units are getting slaughtered by orange. Blue's units are completely fine. <laughs> and someone makes an offer here. Red Clifford, maybe realizing some teamwork's needed, says, Blue, you want to join orange and me? I don't have gold. And now T. Sneller sends some gold to Red. I would not tell anyone that you're offering a team with that you don't have gold. If anything, I would lie. I'd be like, I have tons of gold. I'll send it to you after 30 minutes of you fighting. You don't want to seem weak. 404 Strat Not Found. Thus far, a very accurate username. Remember, inexperienced players, lower elo players, you've seen it so many times over the years, they don't want to make someone angry because they lack faith in themselves. Yellow, he's also had a similar strategy here. Look at Yellow's KD. He killed 35 units and that's it this game. Remember, that was just when Teal was attacked. Purple says, I think I'm either blind or stupid or both just stressed AF. Well, it makes sense, Purple. You're fighting a lot right now. I wouldn't be too disappointed in your performance. And Yellow is just going to waltz into Red's base. But there is no... The king is not exposed. <gasps> Yet. He didn't get it before... But he gets it now. What a snipe there from KP Boy. A little bit of redemption. Not the technology, but the act. And Red Clifford is out of the game. King will explode here. This will actually hurt Orange's trade. And maybe take down some of Orange's base. But well played there from Yellow. Transported in the petards. And now Red Clifford's out of the game. Dang. Okay. We had green at top score. Green got toppled. We had red at top score. Red got toppled. Now T. Sneller doesn't have a friend. And T. Sneller is already kind of having some problems fighting off the goths. So T. Sneller is actually the least likely player to win this game now, in my opinion. It is funny timing. Uh, Blue did just say, do you know where Orange's King is? 
And well, uh, you know, we'll see. It looks like Blue's actually starting to make a move there. But well played from Yellow, who's been very silent this game. Very relaxed this game, but has two snipes in the similar way. Petards and Cav Archers. Blue is pushing in now and just just working off the fact that Orange hasn't enemied him yet. And that well, was a nice attempt. <laughs> oh, God. This, this, is this going to work? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I mean, it was worth an attempt, right? Because Blue was standing next to Orange that whole time. The King will probably eject out of this castle, though. I mean, these are some chonky elephants. You don't have any rats and archers now, though, to be able to take out the king, which is the main concern. But again, those elephants will likely take out that castle if Blue just commits to it. And the Blue spent a long time on the fence about what to do. Made the easy choice. Let's go after Orange here. Good job. I feel good for Purple, too, because Purple needed a little bit of help. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, it's possible the king gets stuck. Okay, there's the king. So hard to ever kill with an elephant, though. And Orange has so many castles, so Orange will escape. I think the writing is on the wall for Orange, though. Very disconnected. Red's out of the game. Your team is, is got now gone. This is also a little rare for community games. Normally, if you have one team of three and the others are kind of unsure on what to do, that team of three dominates. So I'm appreciating that change. Rat 10 Archers turned into flats and archers once the siege onager showed up there but you know, I, I feel like this is just perfect position for for yellow <laughs> cape man <clears throat> cape man uh, he's the capey boy <laughs> not the cape man he didn't steal your name bro <laughs> okay yellow speaks and says orange are you with purple no Okay, clearly yellow wasn't paying attention to the fights earlier. This purple is trying to kill me with blue. Once ally, 2v2. It's a nice deal. It's not a bad deal at all. You're not really trading together or anything. In fact, stockpiles, let's look at that again. Clear sign that there's gold issue for most players here, except for T. Sneller and KP Boy. That would be the, the best alliance, actually, in terms of gold income. Yellow have more transport ships with petards somewhere. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I knew it. I love this. Okay. There's always 10 of them, too. He had 10 in every attempt. No more, no less. Yellow's going to run over here now. I assume is going to clear up all these skirmishers here from the goth player. Mm, yep, seems like it. And okay, so yellow is teams now with orange, I assume. Remember, blue was really paranoid about yellow earlier. And it's taking blue time to build everything back up here. So I think this is a problem now for blue. It's a problem for blue and it's now a problem for, our, uh, for, for the goth player as well. And T. Sneller appreciates that. I wonder how long this is really going to last. Yellow has three snipes this game. And, of course, the other snipe was from red on green, but Capture Age just said that the king died under mysterious circumstances because it was a sinking ship. You know, Cab Archer is a very strong unit to have here. Magyar Huskar, very strong unit as well. Huskar will probably your best unit if you're the Goths. Should do very well against the archers. Not that great against the Magyar Hussar. They don't really have the much, that much melee armor. And the Huskarls have, what, 10 pierce armor? And the Cav Archers do 12 damage. They're actually doing 2 damage a hit. Which isn't horrible. Again, will Orange come back him up? And yes, Orange will. And again, I am now worried for purple. And maybe if blue is ever going to make a move, this would be it. 404 strat not found. This is your moment. Go make a play on yellow or somebody, because I don't even think saving purple's worth it at this point. Good on yellow to fight with orange here. Uh, I think yellow could have easily just denied that. Made life more difficult on orange, and then decided to try and scheme to kill orange when orange wasn't paying attention. I don't know if yellow... Oh god, these things are trapped. I don't know if yellow's gonna actually be able to do that, though, while also fighting. That takes a lot of skill. And uh, those rats and or not rats and archers, those Magyar Hussars got mopped up there. 
Wait, where do the petards go? Um, anyone wondering where the petards went? Are they in a transport ship? Mm, there were definitely petards. I'm not seeing any yellow in anyone's bases right now. So I'll keep an eye on the shoreline, but you have to imagine those petards are on the move. Are they in a castle, maybe? No, they are not. Aha! They are waiting there. Okay, thank you very much there for pointing that out. Remember, purple's holding. Good good hold as well, and it looks like the skirmisher halb scorpion combination with more Huskarls now on the way is adding up. And that spam is just so fast with the goths. It's an underrated move to add skirms with goths, actually. When you're low on gold, that is, right? Because Huskarls, even though they are great, they do cost gold. Hmm. Okay. What does yellow see? Let's switch to yellow's point of view. Yellow might know the king is in here. Because of an earlier trace of research, I was so sorry for the yawn. Huh. I always wonder if thousands of people yawn as, as I yawn as a content creator, right? Because you know that thing. Like, if someone else yawns, you yawn. I don't know if that works with videos or not. Most people I watch edit out their yawns. It's edited content. There's no there's no free speaking content anymore these days. Everything's edited. Nothing's unique. I'm kidding. Um, you did yawn? Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, paladins are gonna go here. And oh, ooh, little side attack here from purple. I like it. Chipping away at the side. Orange was not expecting this. A T Sneller probably won't lose the king this time either, but we'll lose another castle. And these paladins, uh, are they going to make a run for it, perhaps? That seems to be the play here for yellow. Uh, maybe trying to go to the side, though. Trying to sneak around. I like that idea. Uh, this could be Red's castle gone. I think purple should absolutely focus on that. Yeah, yet again, I'd like to reiterate, purple has put up a really good fight this game. Grogo has played really well. <clears throat> but... There's just so much army. Yellow fights his way through Green's Palisades. He's going to make rams over here. So is saving those petards for later. And blue, if there's ever a time, this is your moment. Okay? If there was ever a time, this would be it for you. I understand maybe the lack of confidence in yourself or whatever. But you can do this. Also, the King Ray is out in the open for Arch. So again, no better time. We could have everybody die and blue could win, guys. Orange could die to purple. Purple could die to yellow. And then yellow could die to blue if the timing is right here. This has some crazy potential. Unless yellow noticed this. Oh, the king is right there. I don't think orange knows and I don't think purple knows either. Oh, man. Okay, blue's starting to make a move here. And again, the king... It dies! The king dies. I want to double check here and see exactly how that died. What unit killed it? Because I'm not seeing anything around it now. Okay, there was the king. And it got hit by skirmishers, guys. It's possible yellow had sent the king to go into the castle, but the skirmishers snagged it. So orange is out of the game. So we've got three people left. Well, great great job again from Frogo there. T. Sneller really struggled ever since Red was killed off. Red Clifford's now upset about it. He's rooting for him. And all right, so Blue's moving in. Yellow now moves. This will probably slow down Yellow from attacking Purple. Might even mean that Yellow chooses to target Blue. And there are the Trebs. Orange a little frustrated. Another top score player has died. All the dead players are chilling out and talking to each other now. Yellow trying to decide on if he's sneaky or not. Speaking of sneaky, there's petards over here and a cannon galleon. And here come the paladins. And, and blue's sending everything. Oh, man. And the rats and archers will kill the cav archers on their own. And then you've got trebs, and then you've got elephants. 
So it's all about who can kill the king first. Oh man, does blue notice this? And does yellow know exactly where that king is? That king is in the tower, guys. Oh man. Oh man, purple's living the dream. Meanwhile, purple's like, my life is great. Nobody's attacking me. Let's go. And I think blue believes the king is inside of this castle. And uh, sorry, but the king is in another castle here. There were rats and archers in there, but no king. Meanwhile, yellow's on the move. Yellow's actually in a transport ship. And yellow will lose everything here. KP boys played so well this game with the sneaky snipes. We talked about it, though. Like, rats and archers and elite battle elephants with Vietnamese. One of the best post sim compositions you can have. And I think yellow is kind of out of steam over here. So, you know, yellow escapes for now. Could maybe live another day, but look who purple's focusing on. I don't know if yellow is going to have the army comp. It does have the resources, though. So maybe it could sneak up some buildings like this here. We're seeing two-handed swordsmen. We got some siege workshop still. Rams coming in. You can tell it's a stressful moment for everybody. But again, purple. Got to be really pleased with the situation right now. Red Clifford says, well, I really enjoyed this game. Nice to have some reliable friends. Uh, is this a bad time to tell you, Red Clifford, that T. Sneller was planning on killing you before you got killed? You should rewatch, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wanted to give him a heart attack. No, you guys didn't want to backstab each other at all. There are some moments where people are like, oh, what a nice ally I had. And then, of course, they were, like, talking smack behind their backs the whole time. Oh, oh, my God, what? Champions and rams? Oh, if he kills a king with a champion, what a resume. I don't know if I've ever seen a king killed with a champion. The king might be stuck. The king is stuck. He can't move. Get it? Wait, that's not the king. Where is the king? Oh, there's the king. I thought the rats and archer was the king. Ah, no! Oh, he was so close. He was so close and so weak. Meanwhile, he's still losing his base to elephants. I don't think he's going to get a chance at killing that again. Dang. And again, purple keeps knocking on the door here. Okay, so yellow's on water. Blue doesn't seem to know that. Purple doesn't seem to know that. I'm wondering if there's any side bases at all from yellow. Like, I feel like this villager is so valuable. Was trying to build archer ranges to go cav archers probably, but had to run away. And yellow says to orange, who is dead, well, I'm pretty much dead. And that's true, but it's not. You have resources that can build a sniping force. So... Similar to what we had said earlier, like if people forget about you because they start attacking each other, that could change. But there is a chance, and this villager is pretty much your only chance. We're not seeing much coordinating from purple and blue at all. They just can't seem to be focusing on the gameplay aspect. And, uh, well, I, who can blame you, especially if you're blue after you've just been attacked? And if they knew that yellow had a hand at killing all those other players, I'm sure they would... I'm sure, like, purple would also be on high alert. Mm. Yeah, there's the archer ranges. And there's a TC. But there's a blue elephant on 17 HP. Fight it back! Fight the elephant! Fight the elephant! It's 17 HP. I actually wonder if they could do that. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think blue knew about that at all. He was on water. I don't know about now. I don't have any navy, though, says Blue. Okay, fair. What a sick game from Yellow. Guys, if Yellow wins this game, it will be one of the best games I've seen in a very long time. Also, trade cog efficiency. Gotta love it. No after you, no after you, no after you, no after yes. you. Working on it, yes, is Purple. So Purple might make some navy. Is pop capped right now, so can't. This villager over here, is he dead? I think that villager died, and we're not seeing any production there from Yellow. Yellow's focus seems to be on relocating over here. It's kind of funny. Orange has a bunch of trebuchets over here. It was allied with Orange. You can't use dead players' units. You could turn them to enemy and convert them with monks. 
And you said the Ville was still here. I don't see him. Above the buildings. Aha! Yes, I see him. And I think purple does as well. Yeah, purple does. They, they pretty much know that yellow's got no pop right now. And they figured the king is on water. I uh, don't know if this villager is going to be able to really do much right now. But again, yellow has the most gold. But normally what happens, like, normally the best way to have a chance if you're yellow is if the other two start fighting each other. And it doesn't seem like purple and blue have any interest in doing that. Also remember, the initial team was blue, uh, teal, and purple. So they've also kind of been buddy-buddy for a while. I know it took blue some time, but he finally did end up fighting with purple. So you've got to be fast if you're yellow, and I just don't know if you can be that fast. Need houses, there's no pop space. Hmm. And Magyars don't get redemption. Ah, that's sad. Well, this is interesting. Does Blue see any of this? Ooh. Okay. But again, they need a distraction of sorts. Will Blue or Purple realize that this is a good time to hit the other person? Doesn't really seem like it. And Frogo just turns on Gray. Obviously, Gray's been gone for a long time. So that's really not an issue right now as we close in on the two-hour mark. Great game, though. Yeah, if only Lord, if only you could change someone's stance after they were dead. <laughs> it is interesting, though, because wasn't green enemy to basically everybody in this game? Except blue. So blue could see that, and green wouldn't attack blue's units. But green's navy will actually protect from purple's navy. So that's a pretty wise move there from yellow to put his transport there. I would probably, like, smush it inside. Like, you know, just, like, real click real fast and, like, smush it in there, hide it. And I'd tell whoever's in charge of that ship to take the flag down. Like, that's so stupid. Why would you want to let the enemy know there's someone in there? Take the flag down, man. I guess the game doesn't really work like that, but... If they had brains, they would do that. Hmm. Do these guys realize that you can delete your allies' buildings after they're dead? Uh, Yellow did. Some players do. Uh, other players... Do not. So that is something that I'd say, you know, 50 is 50-50. And oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Don't build up too much here. How did Blue see this? Are they old, maybe? Oh, man. Blue's massing galleons to run over there or sail over there, I guess. And could probably go now. Oh, man. Someone says yellow is lucky blue's not doing much. Well, yes and no, right? Because if blue is a more active player, this force would probably be leaving his base. That kind of hurts yellow. Like, you need... Uh, we, we've established already that the rats and archer elephant composition is so strong, so it really hurts yellow that blue's just sitting there. Purple just relocated a king. I think treason must have been researched. Let me look and see. Mm, yes, I believe it was. Yeah, because the king moved from this castle to this castle, and you could see that blue saw the flag. I'm a little confused about here, though, because blue moved the king from the TC to this castle. But you would see a flag there if it was treason. Oh, he didn't. He doesn't have flags in his vision, but... Guys, lower your expectations here, okay? Respect a yellow, obviously. But lower your expectations. Don't expect him to actually get this snipe. I think it's going to be too difficult for him. Want him to. That's fair. But I don't know if it's possible. He's spending the resources, though. Is adding tons of villagers over here. They don't really have resources that they can take. But it's something. We got stone walls now from KP Boy. We got stables, too. Some navy to protect. Blue's Navy is actually on the way. <gasps> Blue's Navy's on the way. That's probably where Blue will be looking. Cab Archer Mass, Petard Mass. Oh boy. Also, Gray, uh, or, or sorry, Orange's Keeps are actually being really helpful right now to Yellow. 
because purple is just running into them. I don't think blue could snipe the king with this, though. Let's look back at blue's perspective. Yeah, I mean, probably when blue clicked them there, yellow didn't have the navy because it's such a long journey. Even though yellow doesn't have galleon, I think yellow would be completely fine here. And yellow might actually be tempted to send this army over here. Yeah, look, purple says watch out. So purple sees that blue's trying this. This is not going to work. And then if I'm blue, I'm like, oh, I might send my, my stuff there. Okay, so here goes yellow. Hoping for the snipe of his life here. He's already had some good snipes. But again, the army's waiting for him. And he didn't know that. And so those petards will not do anything. And the king isn't even there. Now, Blue's laughing now. And I think Blue might be laughing about this. About that failure there. But not necessarily noticing this. Navy switch, I guess. No, Blue sees it. Blue sees it. Blue sees it. Blue sees it. It's just so tough, man. The rats and archers have 10 pierce armor. You do so little damage against the rats and archers with archers. And then elephants have so much HP, you need so many volleys to kill them too. And now, I, again, this is why I said don't get your hopes up. Now blue knows that there must be something over here and blue won't fit fully fixate on water. I'm a little surprised purple isn't fixated on water. I mean, yellow still, it's a massive navy over here to keep that king alive. Maybe it would have been better to try and get purple. But now you can see purple's going to shift over to this corner. Purple's like, okay, he's over there. So we got to go through green first. I was thinking the same exact thing, Vince. I was thinking that maybe yellow would bait the elephants out of position. But blue noticed. Hmm. There is a world where yellow eventually says, uh, okay, I can't do this anymore. But guys, look at yellow's resources. Yellow still has 18 trade cogs working, which is more than any other player. Yellow still has 18,000 food and 11,000 wood. Yellow is by no means dead here. It's just, can one player fight off two people? Especially when you don't have much of a base. And your king's out on water. And your trade is slowly dying to skirmishers from the goth player. <laughs> Blue saw that. It says he's petarding on land. Can you navy? And purple says no. Purple's like thinking, I'm going to go land. Okay. It takes... You, you, basically, I think the only way you win if you're yellow is if you are the better skilled player and you really think outside the box here. We know yellow can think outside the box. But it's so much work to like defend on water, push on land, blah, 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 blah. I'm working towards it, but trying to clear a path to his eastern base. Yeah, makes sense. Green comments about the relics being lost. Yeah, those green relics have been there for a while. We got a big build up though for yellow. Big old build up here of buildings. And man, rats and archers. Such a good unit. Even without chemistry, by the way. They're not even doing as much damage as they could. So I think we're going to see yellow try and make transports here. Also, mods, veer around. Cape Man says, uh, genius move for yellow would be to do spies and message each player saying, oh, he just researched spies. He wants to turn on you. I, I, I don't think in this instance it would be a good idea. Also, yellow hasn't been very chatty, right? And that's maybe the one thing you could say about yellow. Yellow has been, like, very silent. Silent but deadly, you know? Some of you guys can relate to that. Um, so... It would be very against Yellow's character, most likely. So, I, I'm not sure that would work. And it seems very clear to me. Like, Blue and Purple have had so much time to get bored and attack each other. And they have no interest in that. They clearly just want to kill Yellow before they move on to the next step here. But yeah, I mean, I think you're... It's not a bad point. You know, trying to use some level of Diplo and chatting here. Always a good attempt. Hmm. Yeah, and also when he said spies, Cape Man meant to say treason, uh, which shows the king location. Don't worry, Cape Man is really new. 
This KP boy guy, though, not to be confused with Kate Man, he's the real deal. And he has been around for like six or seven years, you know. Uh, but Kate Man, he's new. He he has he definitely hasn't been around for six or seven years. He shouldn't have learned that by now. <laughs> just joking, just joking. I don't actually know how long KP Boy's been around, to be completely honest with you. Kate Man in my chat though has been around for like six or seven years. So Paladins, man. That's probably your best unit. Paladin is probably your best unit against uh, the Elephants and the Rattan Archers and against the Goths. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. The King is in the castle. Purple's here. Oh no. Yellow's focusing on the Snipes. Yellow's focusing on the Snipes. This might, this might be the end for Yellow. I mean, the, the castle will definitely go down. Purple killed the King with Skirmishers before. Will yellow realize this? Yellow's going in for blue. Trying. There's a slight chance that could actually work. The king is out in the open. The king is out in the open. Yellow's looking here. The king's going to eject for blue. Oh, but the gather point was set on the next castle. What a great job from blue. That's a big thing in regicide. And blue knew it. Just in case you don't pay attention. You want that king to hop into something else. So nice attempt there from yellow, but yellow, you've got to look at your base now, buddy. It's kind of hard to see this king, too. I don't think purple has any clue, and oh boy, yellow noticed. Yellow noticed, and has a chance to escape, and still can somehow continue to attempt king snipes. Just going to sit there. Wait, did purple see it? <gasps> Into the tower! Into the tower, Yellow! Run, 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 run! He's in the tower! Dang! There are Trebs coming, though. There's more army. Yellow's actually trying to defend here with Halbs. Man, <laughs> you guys know, like, in a normal game, it's like, go back to your base. Make some army. Move forward to their base. There's a normal cycle and rhythm. You just don't have that when you have no main base. Like, having to switch to opposite sides of the map... And then having to deal with water and land must be so frustrating. The king, by the way, is here now. So it's now on water again. And yellow might actually clear up all of purple's little push here as well. But, okay, so here's the thing. Frogo and 404 strat not found. They need to coordinate. They need to say, hey, you go land, I go water. Right? And they tried a little bit ago, but then Frogo said, no, actually, I'm not going water, I'm going land. Frogo has 156 military. It's just a lot of that stuff needs to come forward now. A lot of it was produced at home. And I want to check stockpiles again. It feels like this game could go on for a lot longer. It's like the, the immovable object versus the unstoppable force. Yellow's the unstoppable force. And the others are the immovable objects right now. Gotta love that goth spam, though. Hmm. Why does he say fro instead of fro go? I'll say, I'll say fra. I'll say, I don't know. I just, I just say things. <laughs> I mean,. Again, I do believe that Paladin could work. Like, this amount of Paladin, 46 Paladin versus 37 Rats and Archers and 11 Elephants. This, this works this time. There's actually a chance. <laughs> Blue says, missed it. And Purple says, Dag Nabbit. <laughs> I haven't heard someone say Dag Nabbit in a long time. <laughs> Purple's coming in with some fast fire ships. Yellow patrolling this way will kill this. There's not enough fast fire ships. Fast fire ships are pretty good against war galleys, though. They're chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. Yellow massing more paladins. No way, man. No way. Purple obviously trying to make progress here. Yellow trying to defend this little teensy little base. And you, Blue really wants to come back on the water now. But if Blue looks, Blue could see this. And guys, Yellow is absolutely going to kill Blue. Blue doesn't have it in him. 
to be able to make this happen. It's tried. Remember, tried with the Navy. But, uh, you know, uh, the, the trade will start to go down for Yellow because of this tower, which would be really frustrating in the long term. But Yellow still has 8,000 gold. Dang. Paladinos, man. They're being masked. And here comes Yellow. 70 Paladins. Is Blue ready for this? Blue's thinking about the water. But I, I know Blue knew there was a base here. I'm not sure if he picked up on the fact that Yellow had all this stuff over here. And here we go. Blue sees it. This is more incoming. And Purple's probably like, man, I'm like, how does he have the resources for this? Now, what you want to do if you're Yellow is you want to actually kill the army here. Because... If the army's not there next time, you're okay. You don't want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so half your army's attacking their army and half's going after the castle. That's a fine balance, too. You just don't want to donate too many free kills here. And this is absolutely the right play. Now, last time, Blue had the gather point set into this castle, but will there be a gather point set? Okay, the gather point set to the TC. I would imagine, though, that there's no way that Blue has the gather point set to, like, this castle. I think Blue's maybe doing this manually at this point and it's about to be a 1v1 and kp boy up 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 kp boy up click click the farm is about to get his fourth kill of the game boom dang and then there will be an explosion you want to get out of here with your paladins and you hope that purple stays with the helps <laughs> that's actually gonna be really funny oh my god you're kidding purple's like i'm here to help where's your king Where's your king? Let me... Oh. Oh, there's a bomb. <laughs> uh, that's too good. Blue says took long enough. Blue maybe realizes that it just didn't feel like it was doable. <laughs> uh, yellow. Again, has killed four players now. Blue drops the GG. It is going to be tough to fight off uh, Goth Halberdiers. And the castles, and I mean, it's still yellow's got his work cut out for him here, especially because blue's tower will have killed all the trade by now. So I know the favorite from you know any viewers might be yellow, but at eight thousand gold has to be spent wisely. And these paladins are just going elsewhere now. I think maybe champions could be a decent to mix in. It doesn't cost as much gold. That's good against skirms and halbs. Um, man, I don't know. And people seem to have faith in yellow here from the players who have been killed. It's been a great game. It certainly slowed down there for a bit, but yellow is just trying to get a foothold here, trying to stay alive. Crazy, crazy game from him. And by the way, Red Clifford, uh, you were spot on. Uh, it was yellow who, who tried to push Gray's King into your base. He was very close to killing you. That made me want to root for yellow, regardless of everything else. As long as he can find yellow's base, I wasn't seeing it. Should have, but was blind. It's all right. People call me blind, too. Paladins versus Halves. Not really the most cost-effective trade, but yellow just wants the space back. Okay. Lost a lot of Paladins there, but now you have your space back. This is now, you know, what's your 1v1 ability like? What's your late game ability like? What's your fight like? Purple. I hear navy. Oh. Oh. Wild yellow is going to have to shift back the land, I think, pretty soon. I shift to purple's point of view and started to hear the dinging. Nice job, Frogo. I mean, Frogo also had a tremendous game. Remember, Dark Blade was killed earlier. And Frogo had to fight against Red and Orange on his own for a while. Blue wasn't really there to help, at least initially. All right. So we have 20 fires versus 39 galleons. It's actually a pretty close fight, I think. It would depend on micro and whatnot, but... but then yellow is... Remember, he doesn't have vision on that area. Wait, 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 wait. But no, it's not just Yellow's Navy. It's Green's Navy, too. Because Green and Purple are enemies. So it's 32 Galleons 
plus 39 galleons. Yeah, the galleons would still win here. Forgot about that. Why not just a crap load of demos? Demos is an awful idea here. I mean, unless you have endless gold. Because... So many of them are going to die before they're getting close to the galleons. And you just, you know, you want to have control of the water for later on too, right? It's not a horrible idea if you got heavy demo, but it's really expensive. Green's Navy doesn't attack, right? Oh, true. Oh, yeah. The devs made a chain. Oh, yeah. That's so stupid. I'll never agree with that. I really hope they change it back. I think... I was thinking about this the other day. I think they made that change, not for like Diplo style games, but for like AI games. Like if an AI resigns and there's like 15 castles, the AI never resigns with 15 castles. But I think they made, they, they wanted it to be easier for those types of games, but it was always a fun thing to talk about in Diplo games. I still haven't lodged a formal, uh, not complaint, but I still haven't actually said anything to them about that yet. So, fingers crossed that maybe I can give them some reasons why that is something that they should revert. I just keep forgetting. Hmm. Okay. Here comes purple. Yellow saw this because he's allied with green. But yes, green's navy, even though it moved. What? What? Bro, hello? It was maybe moving out of the way? But anyways, Green's, Green's Navy will not fight back. Yellow's doing a very nice job here. And the Masked Galleons are getting a lot of kills. Now, when the Fast Fire is getting close, they do some decent damage. There's also some Cannon Galleons behind. Cannon Galleons actually do an awful job of doing damage to other ships. I kind of feel like it shouldn't be that way. Um, it would be an interesting tweak to water balance if, if these were to actually do more damage to other ships. But mainly for buildings, and yellow will still defend. And purple doesn't have anything else coming the other way. Yellow building up barracks here, man. Building up barracks. Look at all these buildings. Barracks and archer ranges. Barracks here. Again, the king survives. I think purple's got to be like, are you freaking kidding me? Also, you absolutely are going to feel some pressure for purple. Like, you know that you're the one that people are going to be focusing on the most. Like, well, obviously everyone's focused on yellow, but I feel like there's a little bit more expectation on purple because purple had a teammate alive for a while. Purple didn't lose the entire base. You know, the, the bad things didn't happen to purple. So now purple's like, uh, 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 maybe first community game ever. And just, like, so stressed, which doesn't help. Yellow's still in this game. It's been a fight. Yellow's still alive. You think yellow should go hand cannons? Well, he doesn't get hand cannons. Sorry for the sniffles. I think champion's your best bet, right? Because your opponent's going to make halves and husk girls. Champions are great against that. And, and skirmishers. The problem is Magyar champions aren't the strongest champions ever. They do lack the final armor upgrade. And, like, it'd be a very yellow thing to do to try and transport and go for a snipe. But there's just so many castles, and Goths produce so quickly. So I just don't know how achievable that is. This game's still going, question uh, mark? No, the game is over. And we're just... We're watching a replay of a moment that you didn't see uh, originally. Yeah, the game's still going. Of course. Yellow had to reboot, man. Look at all these buildings. It's been a long game. That's for sure. Yellow, check a stockpile again. But more importantly, how many resources is he bringing in? He's got two on gold. I don't think that factors in those two relics. I don't think it works like that. Uh, must be mining gold. No, maybe adding trade, actually. This skirmisher is sabotaging his trade. Because the skirmisher occasionally will get hits. Um, and then Frogo... Still in a, a, a decent spot resource-wise as well. I did frog science in grad school and 
had someone cook frog legs for snacks at my thesis defense. <laughs> oh, okay. That was not the direction I was expecting that comment to go. Oh my god, I forgot Wonder Victory is possible. Until someone just said it in chat. Dude, that'd be so amazing. I mean... Yeah, Yellow could build a Wonder. You're not wrong. Wonder Victory is doable. That's the last thing Purple would expect. But I will say this, like, I don't know where you'd build it where it would be safe. You're pretty much saying, hey, Purple, come at me. Purple's struggling because Purple doesn't know where to go. Do I go lands? Do I go water? But yes, you could start building a wonder. And maybe it's actually best to bring your navy and your, your stuff down here. And then make the wonder like amongst all these castles and buildings. I'm not sure building a wonder here would make sense or here. It feels like the south would be the place for that. Also, I mean, purple could do it as well. I always say, by the way, at the start of each game... Bro oh, what the? Guys, <laughs> I, we're behind by like three minutes, okay? We're on spec delay, so I don't think we just gave him the idea. I don't want poor KP boy's reputation to be tarnished here. <laughs> but the timing, the timing is a little awkward, I must say. And now the wonder's being built. Again, I think we're like four or five minutes behind. I don't actually know. Like, I'll show you. I, you can see if I click speed up, it goes faster. But, I, you know. Anyways, there's now an objective for purple. But purple could go in and maybe kill this king. And here come these fire ships. Dude, guys. I freaking scream that wonder victory is possible every single game. Let's stop acting like this. Is, I, I know the timing isn't great. All right. But it's literally an obvious option if you, you know, listen to what I have to say. Okay, here comes purple. Now, purple did the same last time. Patrol then and started hitting the docks. Really going to be awkward here. You've got to get your navy on yellow's navy. Oh, that's, that's that hurt, it's hurting purple. Purple spent so much time building that up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ooh, jeez. King is moving. <laughs> I did say move the king to the south too. King is moving. Watch this one skirmisher snipe the transport ship. How, what HP does it have? No, not one HP. All right. Here comes the Huskarls to stop this. They actually made it through. They'll get killed off. Purple's really going to be disappointed to see that replay. I, I, it feels like the units aren't on attack stance or something. I'm very confused by the way these units are moving. But clearly, Purple got distracted by the Wanda. Oh, he's also over here. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, Purple's also raiding there. Yeah, so Purple's doing a lot of different things. Hmm. Wait, what? <gasps> what the? Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Bob, if he only knew, there's no way that he would ever know. But if he... Skirm, skirm, skirm. You've got to be... This skirm has been here for like 30 minutes, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That would have been incredible. Okay. Yellow is just waiting to hop into this castle anyways. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Purple says, I'm a concede. That's a smart play, and people want to move on, I think. Well... Yellow just calls the Let him finish the wonder. Please let him finish the wonder. Don't resign before the wonder's completed. No! Guys! What are you doing? 98.8%. I mean, yeah, we want to do more games today, but I can't even get to see the wonder. Ah, I feel so scammed. Uh, anyways, great game. It was a great game. We had lots of laughs. And uh, truly a great game from KP Boy, who I just just had a, a, a great bank of resources and had a nice fight to him. Um, clearly, KP Boy, he's been around and seen a lot of community games, right? Like, I can't keep track of the KPs because, you know, you've got lots of Cape Mans, Cape Boys, the, the, Cape, the, the Cape Canaveral, the Cape this in my community. 
But, you know, he's he, he really showed some fight and some skill, but also some community game tricks. He almost killed Red with a nifty little trick from the dropped player. Obviously, it was a bit of a disappointing moment there when he didn't actually kill him, but he, he got revenge later on with the Batards. He then was able to get, you know, Teal earlier on in that game with Batards, and in the end, uh, he killed four kings. It was a really nice game. I think for blue and purple, um, they just struggled to keep up with the guy, right? They struggled to keep up with the guy. They had the right idea, like competing for the water and also competing for land. And purple had a really good fight on land uh, earlier against orange and red. But uh, they didn't have the bank of gold. And they couldn't quite catch the slippery fellow there. Um, but yeah, I still had a really, really fun time while asking this one. I, I hope people enjoyed it. Uh, the map generation, anytime that there's a map generation that has water on the outside, it's just always fun. Uh, water on the insides, not so much, but there's something about the water on the outside that just allows that transport, allows the trade cog trade, uh, and just like incentivizes some sneaky play of players are really being creative. Uh, total kills in this game. You had uh, T. Sneller on top. Obviously, T. Sneller has been out of the game for a long time. 964 units killed there. Still a very good game. Again, the main thing there was when Red got killed, that really hurt. And Goths. Pretty good matchup against Koreans if Koreans don't have champions out there. Uh, resources collected this game. You had T. Sneller up there as well. T. Sneller had a very good macro and micro and attacking game. I uh, see total resources also pretty high here for Frogo. Um, and I'm not really sure what else should we talk about. Well, I mean, the Wonder Victory, obviously, that was a factor. Um, this doesn't really give us too many details, actually. Maybe we shouldn't look at that. Uh, but you can see Wonders Max 0. I appreciate you resigning, Purple. I know you weren't thinking about the... <laughs> I know you weren't thinking about the wonder completing there. Uh, so don't don't be too upset that I screamed in pain there. Uh, yeah, Yellow had 716 kills and 716 deaths. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Very well played. But yeah, great game. Uh, well played, everybody. Hope people later on on YouTube enjoyed this one. I got to think of a title for this one. I don't know. That's a good title to describe how this game was played. I mean, if Red would have died to the initial Grey King explosion, I could title it after that. Uh, lots of kings were sniped. Look out for the petards. <laughs> the legend of a capy boy. The comeback kid. All right, all right. Uh... T90 is mega random a map that's used in tournaments. There was an event way back in the day, and you could search for the cast on my channel if you can deal with old T90, or I guess young T90, uh, called Masters of Mega Random. Yeah, that was a very long time ago. KP the Cockroach, the King's Shepherd. Not all heroes wear capes, but some do. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to press this button here so Hardy can... Um, you know, so Hardy remembers, or pff, so Hardy hears me say that title when it ends up going to YouTube, because I'll probably forget.